What is going on guys? Uh, today I am bringing you a new video, but it's not a usual tutorial video or a Frostfire episode. It's actually an episode on some of the devices that I use a lot when I'm coming up with the tutorials that uh, I make for you guys. So let's get right into it. So the first one is called a bud switch. If you place a block next to this piston right here, on any side, you can't place one here though. That w It doesn't work right there. I'll do it like this. See, it doesn't work. And you can't place it on this piston, it doesn't work like that either. So uh, that's a butt switch. Next one is a one tick pulse generator, which, uh, here I'll demonstrate. So let's say you have a piston right there. I'll send one tick over to the piston, and the piston will leave the block, even though it's a sticky piston. Now the reason why y you do this instead of using a regular piston is you could pull the block back down with a sticky piston if you send in another redstone signal. The next one isn't really a redstone device. Uh, I just threw it in there because I use it a lot. Uh, it's just, when you throw an item into a hopper, it'll send a redstone signal. And uh, it depends on how many items you have in there or what type of item, like a minecart will have more of a signal than a single flower would. But uh, that, that's how that works. So the next thing is a, is a torch tower. So when you press the button, uh, it'll switch. It'll turn this redstone torch off, which will turn everyone into the opposite direction. So this one will be on, off, on, off. And then this is the same thing. It's a lot less efficient, but uh, this is what you'd have to do if if you had to uh, if you had to specifically like you need a redstone line there and there. See, this one wouldn't work because it'd be opposite. Okay, so that's the redstone torch tower. This one is just a little device that I've been using in my hidden door tutorials. Uh, it's a way to power two pistons uh, without having to run redstone lines all over the place. They have to be stacked like this, though. So all you have to do is put a repeater into a block with a piece of redstone dust on top. You can power both uh, pistons. Pretty basic. Just wanted to throw it in there because I use it a lot. All right, I don't know what the name is for this, but uh, it's it's a piston hooked up to a one-take generator. So if you send a redstone signal right now, uh, you'd send a delay over to this, so no signal would go through the first time. But then the next time you press the button, the redstone signal would go through, which is what I use for my... Uh, red light, green light game over there. This is uh, this is a way to set a redstone signal up without running it around in a spiral like this, and then having it like that, and then like that, and then like that. So this is a really efficient way to do it. Uh, one thing is you cannot send power down this way. So if you send a red, if you try and send a redstone signal, uh, it won't work. You used to be able to do it with glowstone, I believe, but I don't think that works anymore. Right, so the final one is having a piston with a redstone block hooked up to a one-tick pulse generator. So if you press it, it'll leave the redstone block and it'll do whatever you want. Right now I have a uh, redstone light. Uh, if you press it again, it'll take the block back and unpower it. So uh, these, are, these are the devices that I basically use to come up with my tutorials. Uh, there are a few other, but I rarely use them. Uh, but I think that's about it, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see some more tutorials and or videos such as these. So I'll see you guys in my next